What's up guys? Got a kind of a slower day at the shop, just kind of cleaning up. Got Lauren out there cleaning up the toolbox. Um, getting ready to uh, getting ready to show you guys these tools I got. Um, got here. See the shop. Got Lauren out here cleaning. What? Babe, that's not what I meant when I said clean the box. <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you got a quick little laugh out of that, uh, you know, Lauren cleaning the toolbox, you know, she really, it did need to be swept up there, but she usually doesn't climb up there and sweep it, but I uh, hope you guys got a quick little chuckle out of that. Um, wanted to do today's video, kind of going through my box, looking for room, you know, moving stuff around, wiping things off, cleaning it up, like I said, it's a slower day at the shop, so organizing, all that stuff, and I got all these blow moldy cases at the top of my box, kind of newer tools that I've gotten and uh, still need to find home for. So what I usually do is I'll go through my box, you know, kind of checking out the tools. Hey, do I use this tool still? Do I need this? Or can I bring it home and put it in my collection of retired tools or, you know, home tools or whatever? You know, I do collect tools too. So my vintage tools, especially Snap-on, it goes home in a drawer and, you know, kind of put them up for retirement. Um, or sometimes I use them for art, put them in a put them in a shadow box, things like that on the wall. So so I'm going through my box and it kind of I thought you know going through these tools I wanted to kind of see if you guys um, you know maybe still use some of the older tools. You know I, I I tend to find myself using older tools probably because sometimes it's simpler. Um, you know just hooking up like an analog tool to a car to kind of check it out real quick instead of you know, loading in the scanner, letting it boot up, you know, go through the process, going, dealing with updates and things like that. So a lot of times, some of the older tools are faster. You know, using an older tool, it's, it's quicker to hook up, it's quicker to, maybe on, on some of the older cars at the shop here, I still do get the occasional, you know, 83 that pulls in. I had a 79 truck here the other day. You know, I still do get these older cars. Um, I mean, believe it or not, I, I, I was using the Snap-on brick the other day on a Caprice, on an old Caprice. Um, I, I can't remember what it was for too. I think I was having uh, connection issues using the Varus with the OBD2 conversion connector thing to switch over from OBD1. So I broke out the snap-on brick and it hooked right up. Everything was fine. Um, but just wanted to show you guys these tools real quick, a couple of them that I got here and kind of asked the question, you know, you guys in the same shoes, using these older tools. You know, there's some that I just don't want to bring home. I still find myself using and uh, you know, I have a hard time putting them up for retirement and, you know, kind of I want to get you guys' thoughts. So check these out. So I got these. First one here is a old Maco battery tester and uh, I still find myself using these. I mean, nothing, nothing puts a good load on a battery like, like the old ones. You know, these, these digital battery checkers, you know, yeah, they do load test the battery, but, you know, it's a digital load they're putting on the battery. It's not a it's not an actual switched load, a circuit load, a loaded, a loaded, uh, you know, it, it's, it, it's not a, it's not a huge load they put on there. You know, they kind of stress test it, but they don't actually put a load on the battery. So sometimes you can miss, you know, like a dead cell or a weak battery. And this one, you know, puts a real load on a battery. So I still use this one, you know, I know those hard to diag. I've had a car, I had a car in here the other day for a drain, um, you know, checked everything. The drain ended up coming from the battery it was a dead cell in the battery and you know my digital battery checkers didn't pick it up this one I, I loaded it and it showed it showed it wasn't handling a load and switched out the battery and sure as shit the the drain went away so I don't know if you guys had this one or seen ones like them this one's the Mac 01 what is that MD 4260 part number um, I don't I, I don't doubt Mac o still sells them but you know, this thing works. It gets hot. It got a big coil inside there. This thing gets hot when you load the battery. You can't load it for so long, but I still use this one. So that one will probably be staying. 
The next one I got here is this old AC sniffer that I have upgraded, um, but you know, I find myself still using, um, you know, on those dirtier jobs, you get under some of those hoods and it's just nasty under there. And you know, I'm not gonna put my, I'm not gonna put my $600 AC sniffer inside there. So I use this one, still works great. I mean, it's, it's metal, it beeps real loud. Um, you know, it still works. So, you know, I have a hard time retiring this one. Um, TIF, I don't even think this company's still around anymore, but they made AC and AC products, tools, um, gives you kind of the rundown of how to use it. Still works great, you know. Have a hard time letting this one go. Had it for a while. I think that's actually the part number for it. So, that's another one. Have a hard time getting rid of. And then, so I started looking at the blow molded cases that I got. Um, this big one here, I got the, uh, the Tech 2 in there. Thinking about taking that home, but you know, I still do use this one. Like the other day I had a G6 in here, had to uh, unlock the radio, and this one's outdated by now. I'm actually looking into getting the MDI, the wireless MDI, and hooking it up to my laptop. But it, you know, it still does the job the quickest way. You know, the, the Varus doesn't lock it. GM radios, um, you know, it doesn't even uh, control some of the modules like like the Tech 2 does. So I still do use it. You know, it's got all the connectors and all that stuff. Um, I, I still use it. It's got the OBD1 connector on it, OBD2. So I have a hard time. I got the Candy module in it with it. There's a module in there. So you know, I can't bring myself to, to, to bring this thing home. Just wondering if you guys have the same problem. I, I still use these tools and it's, I'm having a hard time retiring these things. And then I got, uh, taking it back real old school, I still got the Maco DIS checker that I used to use the heck out of. Let me get this thing moved. I used to use the heck out of this thing. I don't know if you guys seen these or used these before. I use it a lot less now because you know the technology really ain't getting used anymore but used to check these for bad ignition modules drivers things like that i mean this was great for checking those uh those uh, dis modules on the thunderbirds the super coupes and the fords it's got all the connectors in here you know it, this thing made quick well, here's the gm connector for checking the uh ignition module you plug it in you run the test on it tap tap it a little bit and it would tell you if it was good or not but you know, I have a hard time bringing this home too because I just used this thing maybe maybe a month ago. You know, making quick work. Yes, I probably could have figured it out some other way, but uh, this was the fastest way, and I still use them. So, still got the instruction sheet. I mean, it's a great little kit. Definitely got my money's worth out of this tool, but it's getting hard to find room here, guys. And then I got even the smaller ones. Probably doesn't take up much room, but I got the old school. Uh, digital digital probe this was this was kind of like a power probe I don't know if you guys seen these before what's the part number on that MT 135a fast checking circuits check fuses check circuits I mean you know it's 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 like a mini multimeter in your hands you know this one I still use now and again but it is an antique already and I just I refuse to retire it I still want to use it checks ohms it'll check voltage this was a great little tool this was before power probes so and then speaking of power probes wanted to show you guys this something I actually made and this actually ties into my video from the other day about having the right tool you know modifying your tool to get the job done or you know welding two tools together to make a tool that maybe isn't invented yet but uh, I actually made this back in the 90s this was pretty much my version of a power probe and this is what I used to use to uh, kind of power up circuits and things like that before Power Probe was around. Well, before I owned a Power Probe. I don't even think it was invented back then, though. But basically, have all the fuses so I could put a load on it. If it was a 20 amp load or circuit, plug a 20 amp fuse in there so it doesn't pop and it's protected. You know, one end, one end would clip onto the battery, whether it was negative or positive I was checking. And then the other end would plug into here. And then I would have all different leads for it. You know, each end would plug in. I could either, I have a bare wire, could hook it up with, alligator clips, a back probe, paper clip. You know, this thing, this thing's actually uh, helped me out a lot. I've used it. So let me know if you guys had any tools that you made.
and maybe still use or kept after all the years if you guys kept it just to uh, keep as kind of nostalgic you know but yeah this thing I uh, made that bef before before I even knew what a power probe was so so yeah guys just wanted to throw a quick one out there you know kind of bring that subject up you know I, I, I have a hard time I, I mean I gotta break down and bring some of this stuff home you know it's a slower day at the shop like I had said you know I gotta retire some of these tools to make room for the new tools coming in I did order some other tools they're supposed to be coming in so you know kind of push out the old get it in with the new maybe even some of this stuff I could do on some giveaways you know I don't want to give away older tools but if there's someone out there that could use them hey hit me up in the comments let me know you know maybe I'll help you out maybe I maybe I got what you're looking for you know it's uh some of this stuff I do keep like I said I collect the tools but you know let me know what you guys think let me know if you got that modded tool that you built that you're proud of or you still have or hold on to to this day or still use today at work um, let me know in the comments guys as always subscribe to the channel if you ain't subscribed already hit that bell notification so you don't miss an upload like the video share the video leave a comment on the video we will catch you guys in the next one signing out